Hello beautiful beings. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a seahorse. I painted it. It was just wood and I put pearl white on it. And I got these beads from Dollar Tree that came with other beads and as you can see there's different colors in there. And I picked them out of this because there's a bunch of different colors. And I wanted like a variety of colors. And then we got nukes and crannies that broke off over here, which I think I'm gonna fill in here. Try to anyway, because I wanna keep those holes so the shape stays on the seahorse. So we're gonna try this. And we're gonna hope it works. Another new creation that I haven't tried before. So I'm just gonna go around those little holes with some glue and I'm going to use the little tiny bits that broke off that I found and fill it in. I have no idea what the outcome of this is going to be. <laughs> so we're doing this first time together. And I just want a little glue because I don't want to block those holes. But I want enough to hold the beads. So I'm going to do it around his belly first. His belly. And I'm going to take the little ones and I'm going to try to make them stand sideways. Or I could just put that one there. But as you can see, this one's too big, so I'm just going to go on the outside. But I want these little tiny ones. I was hoping I'd find more thinner ones, but like this to fit in the nukes in between the holes and to stand up right like so. So that's what I'm doing. Besides grabbing more beads with it, but that's okay. Let's get rid of that one first. just want to stand. I don't want it flat. Of course, it's giving me a hard time. I might have to take some glue off the toothpick. It does not want to come off. There. Whoop. I'm going to leave that there until the glue starts drying and then I might fix it. Another one. And we need one more for down there. Ooh, that one's too thick. Where's the tiny ones? I want the thin ones. There's one right in there. There we go. It's really thin. There we go. Now we can put some around it. Filling in his belly, because that was his thinnest hole, as you can see. That were really close together. I'd have to turn him. I'm not worried about not having enough glue. Certain spots. See, that was glue. That glue was drying already, and the edges. Different colors in there. There we go. There's a different color. Could just wind in it in there a little bit. Still see the hole. We need something in there. Here's one. If we can get it in there without hurting anything. This is too tedious. You can always use glitter, whatever you like. Need some more glue there for that one. Remember, we're not trying to cover those holes. We want those holes to show. 
and I'm putting everything on its side, trying to round that whole area. See that one? It needs more glue, because when you put thin glue, it dries quicker. Elena's, that's what we're using. My favorite. And I just want to stick that right there, because it's a nice and thin bit that broke. There we go. And a little color mixed in around the belly. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but we're going to find out together. Jim up there. Bead. I don't even know what these are called. I call them long beads because they're longer. Because they're longer than regular beads. I might want to save that one. That's nice and thin for somewhere else. Great in here. Oh, come on, get over there. There we go. Still see all the holes. So that's good. And I got glue dripping out of my glue bottle, but that's okay because it's helping me. I'm just gonna wipe the toothpick off because I don't want too much glue on it. Now we're gonna find some to go along the bottom. So, maybe a long one, different colored one. I want a variety of colors in here. That one's broken, so I'm going to turn it. So you can't see the broke part. I don't know. Maybe a long one, I want a different color. Let's go with purple. Some are purple, some are aqua. Need some more glue. Now we're just gonna get a bronze colored one. And voila, we did it. All the way around the belly. And we still can see the holes. Still see the holes. Just hoping I got enough beads there. Grabbing some more blue glue over there that's dripping off. Jeez. I got it laying like that and it's dripping. <laughs> so that's working pretty good. Let's get a different color one. Stick it in there. Remember, this glue dries clear, so we're good. We're good. That one's straight down. Some more glue. Now we're gonna try to fill the tidbits in here without hiding this, the holes. That one's gonna get a real thin one right there. Let's try this one. Where was that spot? I don't even know where the spot was now. Right there. That won't work with me. Don't fall down. Oh, it fell down. It fell down in. I'm gonna try to stand on its side. She catches the glue. And I should wait until the glue started drying more. We got her. We got her. Any more that will fit in these crevices. Go. Little broken off pieces we're using. Stand it on its side in there. Yeah, but like I was saying, you can use glitter, you can use paint, <coughs> you can put different colored paints on it. You can do whatever you like. 
Here, I'm going back to the big one. No, I can't yet. We can't yet. I'm just going to go back to the big ones, but we still need tiny ones. That one works in there. Then we're going to need little ones out here. Stand on our sides. And then some more glue in there. Here, but we're going to need a little one in there. Just so we can see the hole perfect. And we're probably going to need one on the end here. I think we're going to need more glue. More glue. On the edge. I want to make sure they don't break off. I'm going to seal this. Okay, and we need. More in here. Here. Come on, stand up. Without wrecking the other one. Turn that. Now we need another one. Let's get a different color. Put you here. Here's the side so the glue don't stick. There we go. And where's the other one? There's one. I need the glue side. Put that in there. Kind of want it. To go. There. Kind of need one in there too. Right there. Right there on the end. We want to keep the seahorse sea horse's shape. That's why we're using these little bits that broke off. It's got a piece of hair on it. Now we're gonna need one in there. I just hope I don't run out and it looks like I might. There we go. Let's get his tail done. Might as well get his tail done while we're down here, huh? Glue. Got a few real thin ones from there. You guys can do this, you know. Like in a winter, rainy day, whatever. You get bored, get some beads from Dollar Tree or a craft store, get some laser cuts and try it. I never tried it and I'm doing it with you. Kind of live. <laughs> Spontaneously. Just doing it. Don't think about it though, because you'll talk yourself out of it. All right, we need a little one right here. We want to cut part down to so see that side. This needs to go here. There. Stand up better. It's okay. It's okay if there's a little gap. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm put this one here down a little bit. Just make sure you leave the holes again. And if you want, I mean, you could really just put like that chunky glitter I've showed you in other videos and cover the whole thing you want. You don't have to have the holes. But I'm sure they sell these without the holes, not the laser cuts, but in a different form. So if you don't like that look, the holes. And if you can't find them, without the holes, you can cover them up using that chunky glitter or whatever you have, other beads. All right, yep, I brought that one out now. Come on. I brought two up and I need more glue, which is dripping. Oh, make sure we don't push the seahorse into that. 
Okay, now we're gonna try to put them back down. So, there's too much glue on it to pick. You want them standing up. Oh, this dry is clear. And that one was broke when I turned. There we go. There. Now we're gonna need a little piece in there. Well, that one's laying down. I don't want them laying down, but that's okay. I'm not gonna go through the problem of trying to get it out and have them all come with me again. Toothpick. That's okay. And we did get, uh, and we did get the glue in there on the other side. Let's, let's finish this tail and then we'll clean it up. Make sure not enough. I'm gonna wipe the toothpick off with a napkin. And we'll finish this tail up. Need a thin one right here. Whoa. Come on, get in there for me. There we go. There we go, we got her. I put a big one in here. Let's do a purple one. Shimmy's purple. Well, it looked like it was, but it's not, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this in there. This one is shimmering purple, but it might not here. It is. I need a little one in there. So I'm gonna stand this one in there. See, now I'm taking the other ones up. <sighs> Again, this might be too tedious for you, but it does teach you patience. Then we need a little one in here. It's tail. And then we need more glue. Line up that kind of wipe that up. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna finish up this tail. This one might look quite there we go. That one in there. And we got that part done. Now we're gonna do the middle because it's too hard to do the middle after you got these all out, so I'm gonna bring these over. She's up. A tiny bits. Glue in here, like so without covering up the holes. That's why I painted it because I knew it would show through. Because you're not going to get every single little groove. Now for the big ones. I'm just gonna plop them. Try to pick up the colors in there. I still need a tiny thing in there. Right here. I'm gonna let go. Let's go, it's not gonna let go. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue in there. As much as I can, wipe my toothpick and try again. No, sideways. Come on, sideways. Good enough. Good enough. I'm just going to put it in the glue and push it where I want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like so. I try to keep putting colors in there. Also, copper, aqua. Some look teal, but it doesn't matter which way to go. Just so they fit in there. Hopefully they don't run out. There we go. Moving right along. But we're gonna need more glue. I'm gonna turn it and 
find a small one. Here's a copper one. No, I don't want to pick it up. There we go. Still see the hole. Now we're going to have to go back to these ones, but I think I don't need the tiny ones. I need to like a little, little big ones. If that makes any sense. Still see that hole. Again, too much glue. Rip it off there. And that one should fit. I want that one right down though. Hmm. This one. This one. real thin one in there, but I want to make sure there's not enough glue in there. Like that. And then we'll turn the toothpick around and put one of these in there. Uh, not enough glue on the toothpick, though. Get in there. There we go. Then, there's a little small one that's not so fat. Put that in there. Now we need more glue. Let's decide what the glue is. There's a gap right there. I need to fill in somehow. Right there. Here's an off one that's nice and thin. That'll work, yes. Alright, let's find another thin one. See how some are. Some are thick and some are thinner. Try a purple one. There we go. Purple ones to the aqua ones get thinner. Down here. I have a real short one I'm putting there. Hey, let's it might have to let this dry too before. I start working on the other part because I won't have nothing to hold on to and I'll make it really awkward because I'll be knocking beads off. But that one's way too big for now, so I'm going to push this one up. Get some more glue. Put it here. And that's where these other little pieces that broke off over here are going to come in. Again. And I got the wrong side of the toothpick. I got glue on both sides now. So I'm going to have to wipe that off. Okay. Now let's see. We need one in here. So we need a really a short one. Here's a purple one. It's not short enough. Is there another one that's short? Over here. There we go. There we go. I'm going to push that back up so we don't cover the hole. I kind of want bronze. Okay, a bunch of colors. They're the same. Let's try this bronze. Work on the end. Yes. We need a thin one in there. So we're gonna pick one of these. We're gonna pick that one. If it wants to stand too big, I'm gonna put it sideways in there. Just like that. Stay in there. Come on. Too much glue on it, too thick. Try it again. I lost where I was putting it. Oh, I think I was putting it there. Alright. Put a big one there. Big one might fit there. Is that too big for that? No. Now we got a gap. So let's find another small one. There's one. Right there. Needs to be on the other side because it's broke. I don't know if. Is that too big in there? No. But now it's hard to get glue in there. Like I said, patience. Let's see. I can't. I'm in that spot. It's touch. I only have one spot now. But we're going to turn it because see it's broke. I don't know if you can see that. Now there's glue all over it. But 
Let's see. I'm gonna turn it this way. There we go. Get our non-glued in and push it in there. Push this down. Okay, now we need a long, thin one for in between these. I don't know if I have, there's one. There's one. Come with us. Come with us. We need you on our seahorse. Right. Turn it. Now glue in. Push it down. Push it back in. Perfect. Now we need another long one. It's thin. I'm gonna fill these in over here. Start to dry. Come on, work with me here. Work with me here. There we go. I'm gonna push that one in. I'm gonna finish this over here. I kinda want something in there, but I don't even know if I attempt it. Because I don't want it sticking. That won't fit. Where's a real thin one right here? I'll stand that sideways. Let's see here. Is this one has the glue yeah? I don't know. On glue side. There we go. We got her. I'm seeing one it needs there too. I was gonna do another one, but I might run out of the scraps that broke off right there. Because those are where I went through all the beads and not dumped them out, and that's all the scraps I found. Or we can do it in something else. It's easy peasy. Push it in the way I want it. I want you like that, but you're not. There we go. Perfect. Now back to this end. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Is this too tedious for you? Too tedious? Here's a long one. I like right there. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It can lay down. And I need something really tiny in there. Like that piece. But it's backwards, so let's knock it right side up. See how it's broke and it's shaved, like shared? I don't want that. And see how the glue's coming off of my fingers? <laughs> it's like when we're working with cardstock, you don't want that. Especially if you're rubbing the cardstock down after you glued something, because it will come off. That's why you gotta keep wiping your hands. Alright. I need one thin in there, but I want more glue because it's drying too fast. There. Let's see what will fit in there. Yeah, I'm definitely running out of the thin ones. I wanted that one for up here, that one right there. Hmm. Maybe this will work. Yeah, that'll work. That in there. That in there. one. Nope, we need more glue. I need one in there too, a small one. But we're kind of running out. I think I'm going to no, I'm not going to be able to turn this like that. I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. And we're almost there. Not that that's close enough. Shut down. I'm gonna need a little piece in there. Turn it, there we go. And a tiny piece in there. Sideways. Of course it. Right, there we go. We're getting her. We're getting her. 
beautiful bangs. I want to get in there first though, because I don't want to get any other beads attached to my toothpick and pull it up. So I'm going to do this. We're almost done. Amazing. Hopefully it didn't take that long. Now we're at 36 minutes. Holy. I didn't know it was going to take that long, but that's okay. I don't know if this is a good idea because I really don't have nowhere to grab. So, but these look all bigger, bi bigger beads. So hopefully we're okay with this. I don't have to touch it and pull beads up. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm gonna wipe this off. Now we're gonna use these ones for in here. No, we want you over here. No, we want you over here. We want you sideways. There we go. Save them for in here. It's okay. There's a real thin one. There we go. What's that one going there? Probably should have done that first, but we're getting her. Turn sideways. See that hole is disappearing. There, we got her. We got her. No worries. I wanted this piece for here. Now I'm trying to hurry and I don't like hurrying because then I sometimes screw up. 38 minutes. <laughs> and when this dries, I will come back and show you what it looks like. And I think I should probably... I didn't want you there. I want you over here. Seal this too. So I might let it dry, seal it, let it dry, and then come back and show you. I don't want two purples together. Oh, this needs to push down a little bit. I need another one. Yep, I'm totally out of them, so I might do another video on using something else for sealers. Laser cut. Why isn't that running down? Come off. There we go. Sure, eyes showing. We're not losing the shape up here. I have no aqua ones left. This one. Greenish aqua. Just always make sure your shape's still there. See, and I can't pick that up to get the glue in there. I need glue right here. There we go. And need something right there, and we're done. Okay. And I'll come back. Let's dry. And show you. I'll be back, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. Before, after. Beautiful seahorse. The glue's not quite dry. 
but that's okay. You can still see it's got bling. Coated it with Maj Baj. You can put it on paper. Glue it in a journal. You can glue it on a pocket, a corner pocket, a belly band. You can take a magnet and glue it on the back. Take a clothespin, paint it with your color of choice, and stick it like that. And you put it on your fridge. And it could be a clip thing to hold important papers for anything that's important for you. Reminders, notes, whatever you'd like. And there you have it. And have a wonderful everything.